one of the things about it is, I think, you know, it, we touched on this a few times, you know, Elliot is part of a team. He does train with other people. But when it comes down to it, you, you start on the, you know, on the start line and you're on your own. This feels two more like years after failing by just 25 seconds to deep inside two hours, the 24-year-old world record holder Elliot Kipchoge has finally entered his name in marathon folklore after becoming the first man to run a marathon under two hours as part of the Ineos 1.59 challenge after clocking one hour, 59 minutes and 40 seconds in Vienna, Austria. Kipchoge was on target to break the record during the first half of Vienna's Pretterpark this morning after completing 21 kilometers in 59.35 minutes. The reigning Olympic champion, who set an official world record of 2 hours 1 minute and 39 seconds at the Berlin Marathon last September, was assisted in his attempt by a team of 41 pacemakers made up of some of the finest long-distance runners from across the world, including Kenyan legend Bernard Lagarde, who won 2007 World Championships in the 1500 meters and 5000 meters gold and 2004 Olympics 1500 meters silver. The team not only set their pace for Kipchoge, but also flanked him to help shield him from the wind, rotating twice on every lap as they could not keep up with the greatest marathoner of all time. He can see the finish line, that's the view from Elliot Kipchoge, you can see the finish line where we are looming into view, 157 and approaching 158. I think we can say with some certainty there now he's, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's right going. There. He's telling him to move away. Come on, he says. Come on, this is it. Incredibly, Kipchoge was even able to wave to the crowds as he sprinted towards the finish line, where his wife Grace and three children cheerfully greeted him. He's pointing. Come on, he says. Elliot Kipchoge has the hand of history on his shoulder. He has less than 200 meters to go. Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep an eye on the clock, into the final 20 seconds, Elliot Kipchoge, Whoa. on his shoulder, 140, oh. 140, the unofficial oh, line, there's his wife. Elliot, Elliot Kipchoge storms into the history books in Vienna, 159.40, the unofficial time, the first man to run a marathon in under two hours, one final lung-busting stride for Kipchoge, one giant leap for human endeavor. And you know, Kipchoge was right. No human is limited. It has taken 65 years for, for a human being to make history in sport. After Roger Panster made history in 1954, it took another 62, 63 years. I tried and I did not get. Uh, now it's 65 years. I have tried. I'm the happiest man to run under two hours in order to inspire many people to tell people that uh, no human is limited, you can do it. I'm expecting more of the athletes in this all of the world to run under two hours after, after, after today. I can't tell you the joy that is radiating from all of the pacemakers, the INEOS team, everyone who has made this possible. His coach Patrick he's been with since he was a young boy, grew up in the same village and these scenes are joyous out here. The family as well, uh, Lynn, Jordan and Griffin, the children next to his wife Grace, just a little way away from us. They're, they're kind of overwhelmed by what their father and husband has done. Still in the moon, I'm yet to come down to heart. I mean, uh, really excited. I mean, happy for him, for what he has achieved. He's actually inspired all of us that uh, we can stretch our limits in our lives and uh, we can do more than we think we can do. After today's historic endeavor, the four-time London Marathon champion is set to return to the English capital in April next year before heading to Tokyo to defend his Olympic title later in August. Richard Monga for Channel 1 Sports. Desperate to get the shot, the shot that they know will be uh, the one, the shot of their lives potentially. And amongst that throng just near me here is Radzi Chinyanganya who is eventually going to get his microphone.